Hi everyone, Tom from One Site Solutions here. This is a quick video tutorial on how to change the default ports on a Niagara Force station. So make sure our station is running first of all. Make a connection to it. Open config, open services and find the Fox service. You then want to open the Fox service property sheet. So on here you can see that we've got the Fox S port and the Fox port. Um, by default, Niagara 4 comes with Fox S enabled and Fox disabled. That's in the interest of general internet security. Um, whilst you, it, it's perfectly fine to leave this as port 4911 in a private network environment, if you are going to expose this to the internet or have some sort of more wide connectivity, it's a good idea to change it to a non-standard port because any malicious services or systems or people out there one of the first things you do to identify a system online is look at what ports it's, um, it's listening on and how it will respond to requests on those ports. So if, if you can make that process a bit harder, it just makes you a little bit safer. So we could change from 4911 to even that, 49110. Um, you then click Save. If you check your application directory again, you'll see the Fox S port is now set to 49110. Now we've already got a connection open to this station and it will retain that until the state is killed. So if we disconnect, and then try and make a connection again, I have to do it the new way. So just connecting to my local host with the loopback IP address here. And 4911, you'll see this will fail. And there you go, target not found. So if we do it again, 127.0.0.1. And by the way, 127.0.0.1, for those that don't know, that's the loopback address. Um, you're connecting to yourself effectively. So if this is a station running on your, your local machine, your laptop, whatever, um, such as it is in this case, this will loop back to myself. I don't need to find the machine's IP address and specify it. So 4911, add the zero on the end for 49110, which is what we change it to. It's still a station TLS connection, so Fox S. Okay, and here we go. Um, it's presenting a different IP address now and with the same certificate, so you're going to get a warning. Um, enter your username, password. And that's how to change the station Fox port. Another common one is um, changing the station web port. Um, it could be done for a variety of reasons. There might be something else running on, on the server that this is installed on, um, meaning you can't occupy the ports that you wanted to. So by default, HTTPS is 443 and HTTP is 80. So let's say we need to change it to alternative http which is 8080 or https needs to be um off 443 as well so 4443 similar process connect to your station config services instead of the fox service this time we're going to find the web service so web service property sheet and here you see the options to change the default ports so 80 we can change that to 8080 Web uh, HTTPS we can change to triple four three. Whilst I'm here, it's worth noting that if you're trying to do something over standard HTTP um, instead of HTTPS, you can run both concurrently on a station. However, you need to ensure, <coughs> sorry, you need to ensure that HTTPS only is set to false. So if you do that, click save. We we'll check back at the application director here. You see my HTTPS is now on at triple four three. Okay guys, that should be all there. Thank you for watching. If you uh, if you want to see more videos like this or if you want to increase your Niagara knowledge, please do subscribe and check back later for more.